Hi everybody, hope you're doing well today. Um, if you're new here to my channel, my name is Anna and I buy, collect and resell vintage costume jewelry, unique jewelry, some sterling, some semi-precious stones, little bit of every type of jewelry besides gold. I don't really sell that at this point. Um, I also buy and resell purses and unique collectibles, but mainly jewelry. If you, I picked 16 items out of my inventory here. Um, if you're interested in purchasing any of these items, you may email me at sistersvintage, the number two at yahoo.com. I do PayPal invoicing. Um, shipping is $5 within the United States. Outside, it's a little more. I typically try to ship within one to two days, unless it falls over the weekend, then it may be, you know, if it's on a Saturday, it may not be till Monday. Well, that's still two days, so that didn't make any sense. Okay, sorry, there I am rambling. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna start off just by showing a couple of the items. Um, and well, first of all, I wanna show these earrings. Um, somebody had asked me to show, not earrings, these are shoe clips, okay. Art Deco cat shoe clips. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna take them off the earring thing to show them, but they're nice. These are the ones I was talking about. Steven, if you watched the video. Okay, those, they're cute, I think. Anyways, and I wanted to show this. I had to get a friend um, for my mouse. I got this mouse from Sally on uh, Vintage Discoveries. I got a, bought a box of her jewelry, a bulk box, and he was in here, so when I saw the little bird, I, I thought it was pretty cute, too, so I got it to befriend him. <laughs> they stay together in a jewelry box. They seriously do. <laughs> All right, and I bought this. I'm going to put it in my Unsigned Beauties box. I thought it was pretty nice. Look at it. It's very pretty. That's it for that, though. Now let me get on and move in, on to the items at hand. No, jewelry items. I have a... Um, this, okay, is a sterling chain that's 18 inches. Let me show you with the spring clasp. It has 925 marking on there. On here, it also says 925. And it tests a sterling, but is slightly magnetic. So I'm going to assume that this is heavily plated with um, a sterling plating. We have marcasites in there, and it's a very beautiful stone. I tested it on my Presidium. It's definitely not glass. It's testing up towards the Topaz area. I'm not an expert on stones, but um, I know it's not glass. Let me put the black in the back. See, it's very pretty. But I'm going to sell it cheap enough. It's definitely a stone. I believe it's Topaz. I'm going to let this go for 20 bucks. It's a one-inch pendant, and it's one and a half from there down 18 inch chain which is sterling it's marked i tested it like i said this is testing a sterling but it's sticking to a magnet so it's heavily plated i believe very beautiful 20 bucks on you can call up the marcus uh marcus site in <laughs> topaz necklace um but like i said i'm not an expert it's still beautiful no matter what type of stone it is i know it's definitely not glass because i did test it this hair, this is a, a con the black and white glass necklace. This is pretty cool. The findings on this are not sterling. I tested it, um, but it's a cool glass. Look at that, like a hook. Okay, this is handmade, I believe. Very nice, though. So you have these striped um, black and white, the crystals. This is a little boy. These are all glass. That's, I don't believe that's sterling either, but I didn't test it. Little boy with rabbit ears sitting on a moon. There's a number of those on here. And then the other side has stars. Go up here, you have like a frog prints. More of the stripes, more crystal, more metal. More of the little boy, more frogs, more frogs. You go up, this is cool too, look. This is like a zebra striped glass underneath glass. Very cool. This one, a black and white glass necklace will sell for 25. We also have like these stones. It's all glass and crystal. Don't believe the findings down here are sterling. No, these are not, but I didn't test down here, but 25 bucks for a unique cool necklace for that. Next, I'll show the Kirk's Folly. I put this on a chain, signed Korea. I believe it's gold plated. The chain on the Kirk's Folly, um, 
let me double them up and put them on here. The, the cherub, uh, the chain here is a 22 inch chain. And there's the angel, the cherub. He's holding gold stars and crystal balls. He measures, the, the cherub measures two inches. It's in good shape. There's the Kirk's Folly marking. I will sell this for $25, obviously to replace the chain, but I thought it was a good chain for it. It matches it, like the gold plating. Or gold tone, whatever that is. There he is. Let me hold him still. It's cute. There's the stars and the crystal balls there. Okay, 25 for Kirk's Folly. This necklace here, I tested this as well. These are not sterling findings. It has a toggle clasp. Um, have foil glass there. And there's, there's amethyst, I think. I tested it, amethyst, and I, I don't know if this is fluoride or amethyst. I'm gonna be honest with you, but it's definitely stone. Like this one here definitely looks like amethyst and that, but these ones shaped like this, I, I don't know for certain. Um, but it's definitely stone. I tested on my presidium and it's not glass. And that's what I'm using it for at this point. And it's it's a very, very nice necklace. I will sell this um, amethyst and foil glass. I call it a chunk necklace because it's heavy and it's kind of chunky. Very nice. Did I say well, how much it measured? Um, 18 inches. I think it's definitely, I know this is foil glass. I, I mean, I'm almost certain if I'm wrong, correct me. Still well worth um, $30. This necklace is very, very nice. And it's pretty, very beautiful. Like, let me hold it up for you up here so you can see these. It's nice, $30 for that. That's it for the necklaces. Now I'm gonna do, I'll do brooches. This is a two inch gold tone Maltese cross. It's unmarked. But it's quite lovely, I think. And I'll sell this for 20 bucks. I've seen it for, I'm not gonna say what I saw for whatever. Look it up yourself if you want. See if you wanna pay 20 bucks for it. I don't need to do that. I don't even like that when people do that. It annoys me. So I'm not gonna do it. Um, 20 bucks for it. Look at all the beautiful colors on there. Very, very nice. Now, he is, not he, this is um, a crescent moon with a gold star hanging off of them. And as you can see, blue enamel. Um, it's two inches. It's the tangling, dangling, tangling star. Yeah, there's the back. I'll sell this one for 10. It's cool, it's unique. I've never seen one like that before. Did I show the back of this, guys? There's the back of that one. I think I showed it. All the class work on what I'm showing. If I did, I wouldn't sell them, honestly. This is a cherub on a crescent moon hair. And then I just dropped it, but he's fine still. It has rhinestones in it. Let me put it on here to show you. It's cute. This is measuring one and a half inches. I'll sell him this one for 12. There's the back. It's unmarked as far as I can see. I have a lot of brooches to sell, so I'm trying to pump them out. But I didn't give them away for a decent price. I paid, I got a lot of them. Uh, now I'm gonna show, um, this is really adorable turtle. I don't know what type of plastic this is. I'm gonna call it acrylic. I don't know. I'm not gonna say it's loose like, cause I have no idea. I don't, he it has red eyes. He's gold tone, black enamel with the orange acrylic or you know, plastic of some sort. This turtle, let me hold them still for you, is twelve dollars. I'll let him go for it's it, it go for it's an inch and a half. It's, it's pretty adorable. It's in good shape. Twelve bucks for that. I'm gonna do bracelets now. This is mother of pearl turquoise in um you know, wrapped in leather, a leather, strung onto leather. I'll sell this for 10 bucks. This is measuring um, 
seven inches. There's the mother of pearl. Let's see the leather and here's let's see the turquoise. Let me put it against the black so you can see it. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice color of um, blue. And here's where you can, you know, you knot it around there. So it's seven inches, 10 bucks for the turquoise one. I have a, a lovely Kramer. I need a pillow to put my bracelets on. I've got to buy one. But this is Kramer. Um, let's see the baguette rectangular stones. Very nice and good shape. It is an inside box clasp is what I call that. And it's marked Kramer right there. It's a pretty nice bracelet. This one, I'll sell this one for 15. Kramer. This one is sterling, all sterling and crystal. And it's nice, actually. Look, we have a toggle clasp. That is sterling. It's a nice little toggle, too. I like the way it's made. Everything, the balls are sterling. The caps are sterling. This one will sell for $15. It is a um, seven and three quarter inches sterling silver and crystal bracelet. See, there's a decent amount of sterling on here. Let me put it on here. See it? It's pretty. The crystal's pretty. The toggle's nice. And it has all those sterling silver balls. I think it's definitely worth. My excuse the nails. I just beyond that at this point. <laughs> nice. Fifteen bucks for that. I think it's worth it. Um. I have a snapper, 1980s leaf, like 1980s looking measures, two and a half crossed. It's in good shape. I saw this one for seven bucks. I said two and a half across, right? I think snapper, it's in clamper, whatever they call that. It's in good shape. Like it's pretty cute. Seven bucks for this. Reminds me of a 1980s bracelet and stylish, seven bucks. I have some earrings. I have these. I call them slinky earrings. They are sterling silver. They measure three quarters inch. Look how cool they are. I saw these for 10 bucks. I tested them. They are sterling. They're pretty neat. Three quarters of an inch. They have backings with them. I didn't really look and see what it says or if anything on there, but they're neat. These look like, like, I don't know. I don't know what they look like. They're cool. They look like slinkies to me. That's what they look like. But they are sterling silver, three quarters inch, ten bucks. I have a pair of whites that I think I've tried to hustle off <laughs> at auction and it did not work. No, I'm joking. I have a nice, they're nice. They're 80 stones. Let me show them to you. Um, how much was I going to do these ones? No, they're on the back. Uh, Weiss AB clip earrings. There's the, can I show you the marking? I'll sell these for 10. See, they say Weiss. We have different colors of AB. This one's a bluish shining off, bluish purple. And this one's gray and the rest like surrounding the white. They're in good shape though. 10 bucks for these. These ones measure an inch. They're lovely if you wear clip earrings. I don't I don't like earrings at all, to be honest. I just don't like the way they feel on my ears. Now, these ones are nice. These are Romans, and um, that's the brand, R-O-M-A-N. And I believe they're crystals. And they're really, really, really nice, actually. Um, I saw these for 10 to 10 to, they're an inch. Look at all the crystals on there. Let me get a good, there you go. Very pretty. Here's the back. Well, let me show you the marking in there. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I don't have one of those handy dandy fancy things and I'm not gonna purchase one at this point. 
you know, like, I can, I actually, you know what, the one Thelma has that she uses, I, I might, I try to look for one of those, it's, I don't want to buy a camera one, it costs like 500 bucks, I can't afford that, um, I'm all about putting in, and in investing after you can afford to, I won't invest, like, outwardly, that's, unless you come from a wealthy family, it's absolutely not the way you go. You work with what you have and move up as you can. But these are quite nice. I'd sell these for 10 bucks if you ladies want a pair of really nice clip earrings. I think they're nice. Now these ones are like artisan earrings. Look at them. Let me put them on the earring thing so my hands aren't in here. These will be 10 bucks too. And these are cool. I really like them. But like I said, I can't, I don't, I do wear some earrings, but I'm not a big earring wearer. My ears get sore. I have to have, um, Really, platinum works best in my ears, but I cannot afford all platinum. My ears get sore. Um, they're very sensitive to whatever I wear um, in those holes there. But, uh, there they are. Twisty, bendy, cool. I don't know what you want to call these. Artisan earrings, modernist, whatever you want to call them. Um, what else? <laughs> Minimalist? Could they be that? I don't know. But they're brass, I believe. Brass, and they have these balls at the end. Um, I don't know what kind of metal it is. Could be white brass. I just don't really, I, I mean, you know, like a silver color brass. I don't know. But they're neat. And they measure two inches. And I call them the brass squiggly earrings. Very cool. Ten bucks if anybody wants them. I thought they were nice. Ten bucks for those. Okay, so if anybody sees anything they want, please email me at sistersvintage2 at yahoo.com. It's in the description section. I hope you guys all have a great day, and thank you for coming to watch my video. Thank you for the kindness and support from the people, other YouTubers, subscribers. Just, I appreciate it greatly, especially in my times when I've really needed it. Um, guys are great and I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm off to get my grandson. Eva and him are going to have an evening together of hanging out and watching TV and playing video games. It should be fun. But, okay, thank you. Bye.